and let's go looking for people flying kites today. What you see? Even here we got, even here we got guys trying to celebrate Easter Monday, right? Regardless where we there. Hey guys, even a Suriname made kite in Suriname. Yeah, you're right, 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 right. I must say that the tradition in Suriname is still alive amongst Guyanese flying kite on Easter. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hey, my amazing people. How are you guys doing? I trust and pray you guys are taking good care of yourselves wherever you are. You know guys, like I always say, right? Health is wealth. Today is a national holiday again here in Suriname. Easter Monday. And not many countries around the world celebrate Easter Monday. I think only the Commonwealth countries, you'll find that today is also a national holiday. But the government had talks about abolishing this holiday. I don't know, maybe starting from next year, I'm not so sure. But I know for a fact in the future, we wouldn't be getting this holiday anymore. But for this year, 2024, it's Easter Monday here in Suriname. Beautiful, sunny, hot Suriname. The temperature is 33 degrees right now. If you don't know, in Suriname, the only time that they fly kites uh, would be in the summer holiday, which is um, from August until beginning of October. That's the only time in Suriname that they'll fly kites. Whereas in Guyana, today, Easter Monday, ho ho ho, you can find kites in all shapes and sizes, guys. Competition in the National Park in Guyana, the Sea Wall in Guyana, and all over Guyana, it will be a jam session flying kites. 63 Beach, uh, but here in Suriname, it's not a practice flying kites in the Easter break here, in the March, April month. However, there are some people, mostly Guyanese, who would go across the river to a place called New Amsterdam, and they will fly kites there every year. I haven't been there for the past three years, so I'm not so, I mean, on Easter Monday, so I'm not so sure if they still do fly kites. But I'm just curious guys, I'm going for a drive across the river. I want to see if they're flying kites there today. And I am going to take you guys along for a drive. For those of you who are now subscribed to my channel, who don't know much about Suriname, well, here is another place you will uh, get to know today, will acquaint yourself with today, Kamawaina. To get to Kamawaina, you have to go over the bridge. Kamawaina is another district in Suriname. So we're going over the Schulz Weilenbosch Bridge. And we're going to a part called New Amsterdam, which is located in Kamawaina. So guys, join me, enjoy this drive with me, and let's go looking for people flying kites today. Come on guys, let's go. So we have to cross this bridge, the Schulz Weidenbos Bridge, to get to Kamawaina. This bridge is 1500 meters in length and it is 50 meters to the highest point. I tell you guys, this bridge saved many lives. I remember back in the days when there was no bridge, when we had to take the ferry. Oh, it was brutal. The last ferry would would leave Mirzor, which is the, the crossing point over the river coming to Power Marble, at I think 9 o'clock. And if you're over the river and you want to come home to Power Marble and you miss the ferry, you got to sleep on the other side. I remember I slept over there twice already. So this bridge is a savior to many, 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 many people. Do you know how many cars commute on this bridge every day? How much vehicles? Uh, this is the road you take towards Albina. Albina is the the border town of Suriname and French Guyana. 
So you have to go over this bridge to get to Albina. About two hours driving, two and a half hours probably, and you get to the border. There's a ferry crossing there too. And you can take your car all the way across to uh, Friends Guyana. So we're now actually on the other side of the river. No longer in Par Marble, we're now in Kamamaina. And this area here is known as Mirzark. So we're now in the Mirzark area. And we're heading towards New Amsterdam. That's where the people usually fly their kites. New Amsterdam is where the fort is built. Fort Amsterdam, that's where it's located. I did a vlog here in that fort too. You check through my vlogs, you'll, uh, you'll see I did a vlog on Fort Amsterdam, the open air museum. And what's popular right here in Marysark are those fruit stands. See all the fruit stands uh, besides the road. Oh man, lots of mangoes on that one stand. So this is the road you take to go down to Albina. In Suriname, kite flying is popular in August. August and the Chinese were the one who invented kite flying here in Suriname in the summer holiday. This is taking you straight to New Amsterdam. And I vlogged this part already so it's not uh, unknown to most of my subscribers but for those who are new in my channel they get a chance to see a different part of Suriname. A part that some of them have never seen before. And the people that live in this area, they do farm, most of them do farming for a living. Going farther down, it's the fishing village, where most of them catch fish for a living. Very simple life here, guys. Simple and quiet. If you want a quiet life, like compared to the Philippines, where life there is hustling, bustling, busy, busy, busy. Suriname is the place to have a quiet, quiet, peaceful life. Very quiet. Like right now in the Philippines, in the province, you'll see so much traffic on the road, so much people all over the place. Here it's a little bit more quiet, much more peaceful. From Par Marble to New Amsterdam over the river, it's like about 20 minutes without traffic. It's not that far, 25, 20, 25 minutes. It's really beautiful out here, guys. All the greenery, it's really beautiful, clean air, no pollution. It's beautiful, guys. And I know someday in the near future this is all going to be gone. I just got some cucumbers. Man, these things are really fresh. You can tell that they're fresh. See? And sometimes over the river here, vegetables are cheap compared to par marble. Like this morning, I was looking for cucumbers to buy and they were like 20 SRD a piece and they weren't that nice looking, good looking. I got this for 12.50. That's a good deal, guys. 
look straight where my fingers are pointing. You can see what looks like clouds. That's not cloud, that's smoke. I don't know where the smoke is coming from. The bush is on fire. The smell that smoke is strong. Hope it's nothing serious. And the temperature is still holding at 33 degrees, guys. It's so hot out there. It's already 525. Still so hot. And also when I'm across the river, I try to see if I can buy some smoke fish. Because across the river, you can get nice, fresh fish. And the price is not that expensive here either. Let me see if I can pick up some. Let me show you guys. This is what the smoke fish looks like. It's a catfish. And you see the meat is very soft. It's fresh. That's why I like to buy it here. And this three, I got it for like about uh, six dollars. Six to seven US dollars. So that's not bad. In Parma Marble, it will be much more expensive than that. All right, so we are now in New Amsterdam, and not New Amsterdam, Guyana, New Amsterdam, Suriname. Both on my left and right, they also have uh, smoked fish, but. I usually buy from from uh, those people because uh, they know me and I know for a fact that the fish there is very fresh. All right, so now I'm turning, heading towards the museum. That's where we should see some people flying kites if they're still there. We are in search of people flying kites today. I know the past years it's jam-packed crowd. So let me see if I can compare this to at least a uh, part of Guyana in flying kites. Okay, okay, okay. It's busy. Wow. I didn't expect it to be this busy. Everyone is uh, picnicking. Nice time, nice time. All right, we gotta look for a parking place now. This is the open air museum, both on my left and my right. Okay, check out that vlog, guys. I did a vlog on that. All right, let me see if I can find a parking place. Maybe. Be here, maybe here not. Oh, I can park right in the corner here. No point going all the way inside where you can't get a place to park. I'm not gonna go searching. I just put a car right here. All right. Well, I can already see the crowd. It is busy today, guys. I don't know if I see any kite in the air, but I see a lot of people here. See all the cars? 
So this is New Amsterdam. And I'm pretty sure you'll find more Guyanese here today. Pretty sure. I don't know if you can see, but there's... Let me try to zoom in. I don't know if you can see the kites up there. Look, there's one, two, three, but the sun is in the camera. Three, four, five. Some kites on the ground with the kids. Yes, there are kites here in Suriname. Yep, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that we can find some kites here today. <laughs> Everyone has their cooler, chairs, their boom boxes. Just having a good time. I don't know if you can see the kites up there. Uh, the sun is in the camera. Maybe you can't see them, but there are lots of kites. What you see? Even here we got, even here we got guys trying right now to celebrate Easter Monday, right? Regardless who we did, right, right, exactly, right. So, yeah. Right, right, right. So I want them for knowing Guyana. Even here we got kite flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. all right, okay. okay I'm, uh, so you do, you alright? I don't see you for a long time, man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Alright, I'm gonna walk around on this thing. Alright, man, you guys enjoy yourself. Yeah, man, okay, yeah, you take care. Huh? Someone's trying to put up a kite right now. Oh, it's so beautiful out here, guys. Easter Monday here in Suriname at New Amsterdam. So everyone with their kites. You can hear the music. Kite is dancing for us. Problem not there, no? No, 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 she's sorry. She's not there, no, 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 Guys, even a Suriname made kite in Suriname. The later it gets, the busier it gets. Come on. 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 Come on.
Okay guys, now you can see the kites uh, a bit better because the sun went down. And look at that scene guys, look at that beautiful sunset. And everyone here is still having a good time. You can hear the music playing in the background. Look at that one with the long tail. <laughs> Now you can see, um, according to what one person told me, there were more people here last year than this year, so I wasn't here last year. But <laughs> to me, there's a lot of people here. We got like about 25 or 50 kites up there. Still a lot of kites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, 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 right. Nice man, nice to see that even in um, yeah, Suriname they can fly kite. Yeah, at least I remember now. Right, right, right. Yeah. Guyanese, uh, Guyanese tradition, eh? Our tradition. Yeah. yeah, they, yeah. Come, they come out and they know more saying right now, right? Yeah, yeah, I can see. 90% of the people here is Guyanese. Guyanese, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Happy Easter to everyone, eh? Yeah. Nice to be a guy, man. Good tradition, eh? Right, right, right. It's still a good tradition. I mean, we each other, but the young one ain't got to take it over. So. Exactly, right. You yeah. know, that's it. And nice to see that even um, today, a lot of guys can come out and fly kites. Yeah, well, nice to be a guy. Because you know, a day like today is craziness. Eh? Yeah, it's in Kittisi, right? Right, right, oh, right. Can't get place. Our sixth street beach in Alta. Can't get place. Enjoying themselves, enjoying themselves. Right, 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 right. With right, their right. family, everybody out there. Playing their kite, you know, enjoying, drinking the beer, you know. Get the music, the, get the, the food, music. a part to go price. Oh boy. <laughs> what else you want? You can't go wrong? Go price is the old tradition, you know. You can't go wrong, you can't go wrong. Yeah, a man can't say that they don't like cooked rice, oh, exactly. buddy. That's for everybody. And they can't cook it. <laughs> you call it bias. Bias. It's more healthy. Right. Exactly. It's healthy for everybody. Not only yeah, right. the disabled people there, but for the young ones there too. That's nice. Well, nice to see that people I around the place. Enjoy that, I yeah. enjoy that, man. Very nice, man. Look, everybody here is kind of. 99% yeah, is kind of. Yeah. Uh, I, enjoy, I enjoy this weekend. Yeah, me nice too. To nice I didn't expect to see such people. breeze that is wild here, yeah? Wonderful. I, I didn't expect to see such people out here today. I was surprised when I came out here. Man, I was surprised to see that much people there today. I didn't expect that crowd and I didn't go there for a few years so I guess I forgot how much people usually go there on Easter Monday but I was impressed guys there were like about 50 60 kites and I think that was lots a friend of mine told me there were like about 95% Guyanese there another friend told me uh, the past years there were more people that usually uh, go there on Easter Monday but I was impressed guys I am so happy that to know that even though the Guyanese are here in Suriname they can still upkeep the tradition of flying kites on Easter Monday here in Suriname there were lots of people there guys you can hear the music playing everyone was just having a good time guys I went in search of people flying kites and I was surprised to see so much I must say that the tradition in Suriname is still alive amongst Guyanese flying kites on Easter so that's it guys I left there already because it was getting dark and mosquitoes were biting me but there are some people there that's still drinking and celebrating but I had to leave guys so guys thank you for joining me on this afternoon fun please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and share and guys for sure I'll catch you on your adventure God bless 
Take care.